We've come to Piritok village, one of the several villages on Dukofiok Island, a local of the government of Kokopo district. Census estimates have put the total population of the entire island at around 30,000 and counting. According to Bill Anis, a village elder, the population of the island never stopped growing. Now long population, 2012, going up long 2017, population in no pilipilai, in no pilipilai. But this island of more than 30,000 men, women and children is facing a serious problem. Here you can see the severity of the problem. The sea is slowly making its way beyond what used to be the shoreline. This is one of the village main water holes that they use for drinking and cooking. Today the sea is slowly creeping in and covering it. Every day the men and women worry about the future of their children. They worry about their food and water source, and they worry about their ancestral land that has been their home for generations. Yes, before I but now I'm deployed, you know. Solwarai long come inside long island. Na planti mana we plow long multi kam long bus. Same na make me plow supply long. Long long go outside now supply go long big place new island supply go long new island. It's new Britain. The impacts of climate change is one that is real for the people of the Kofiok Island. They know some of their villages will soon go under. Like Piritop village, it is part of many other coastal communities all over Papua New Guinea that are facing similar problem. People like the same government, the national Britain provincial government, the district, the LLG, the national government, the strong office of climate change, the national government, concerning all something now, we plan thing all same. We plan the plan the technicals. Man, long kamali we plan, but big plan something. We plan like him long. All people in the block we plan it. Government must have it more. A combination of the rising sea level every year and increasing population growth and land shortages, many villages along the coastlines like Dukovyok will begin to see their first lot of climate change refugees, and those in authority appear to be not ready for it. Edwin Fidelis, National MTV News, Kokopo.